Before that, though, it's a poignant day at St Albans Cathedral because after six months of virtual gatherings, the sound of choral evensong returned. For some who've watched the choir online coming together in person is even more special. Let's find out more from Tara Welsh, who's outside the cathedral for us this evening. Hi, Tara. Hi, Riz. Well, there's been some form of worship here for the last 1,700 years. Rarely have these doors closed. At one point during the War of the Roses in the 1400s, and it was closed by Henry VIII. But since then, there's been music and singing almost every day until, of course, the pandemic hit us. And then the doors had to close, which affected many people living here. Singing after months of silence, it means so much to so many, especially Julia. This was where she came with her sister Karen before she died of cancer in January. Whenever we came here, it gave the calm that we couldn't get from anything else. This is Karen and Julia's mum, Joan, who also died this year with COVID-19. But the place where Julia sought solace was shut. So I remember lighting my last candle and I actually was crying like a child because I knew it was my last candle and uh, I lit it for everybody. After Julia's mother died, the sub-dean came out to hold the service. And, life eternal. and now the cathedral's back open and the choir is singing again with some differences. With extra chairs, safely distance at two metres, all the choristers, and we've got uh, four bubbles, two sets of brothers and two sets of children who are in the same class at school. So that enables us to put them sitting together. So that's really uh, um, made it much more straightforward. They were delighted to be back. And I think we are doing it as safely as we can. It's just the best news that the choir will sing again. And for me, that takes me back to thinking about my sister and how we would sit side by side. Well, being in there this evening, it's hard to watch that and not feel anything. I know many people were quite emotional this evening. And the sub-dean, Abby, joins me now. What was that like for you? And what's the last six months been like here? It was really emotional tonight. I had a tear in my eye. We've missed the children singing so much. Um, they bring so much joy to what we do. Um, and it's not just their singing. It's the fact that they career around the place laughing and joking and teasing us so they, they bring this place to life with their voices in all sorts of ways so it was just brilliant to have them back tonight the last six months have been really really difficult obviously we've gone through a number of different stages and um, at first we thought we could at least keep the building open for people to come and visit and light a candle but then we had to shut the doors completely um, that was just devastating um, I saw uh, one person one day just with their hands on the walls of the building um, just with their eyes closed and I really felt there desperation to come inside. Just outside the West End here, some children had chalked some prayers on the ground. Um, normally they'd have come in and put something on our prayer board or lit a candle or something like that. I felt this real yearning to come back in. And our first Sunday back worshipping was just incredible. Of course, we'd been recording just on our own beforehand and we knew that people were at home, but we couldn't see them. Um, and when I looked up, and saw people sat there for the first Sunday and was able to put the body of Christ into their hands. Um, I mean, I just wept, which I wouldn't normally do in church, but I just felt this deep emotion. And I know that the people gathered there did as well. It was so precious to them. And it's great to be back. 
after having people back, how though are you keeping them safe? Yeah, so right from the beginning, we opened the doors back in June, around the time that the shops were able to open again. And we put a lot of planning into that just to make sure that there was lots of space and that people felt safe and felt that we were trying to protect them the best we could. So we're following guidelines. Obviously, they change and update and we keep a close eye on them and we'll keep doing that. Abby, thank you so much. It was a lovely atmosphere tonight and even songs back uh, every night this week here at St Albans Cathedral. Clearly a very special and uh, poignant day. Tara, thank you so much.